This video was made possible by Brilliant. Learn complex concepts simply for 20% off by being one of the first 200 to sign up at brilliant.org H-A-I. Welcome to another episode of Hall as Interesting, a show about the world's most interesting halls. Previously on the show, we've covered the Palace of Versailles Hall of Mirrors, the Kite Hall of Fame, and of course, the musical stylings of Hall of Notes. But today on Hall's Interesting, we're focusing on the Royal Albert Hall, the renowned British venue located on the northern edge of South Kensington, London. Opened in 1861, the Royal Albert Hall established itself as... Wait a second, I'm sorry guys, I think there's been a typo. This isn't Hall is Interesting, the show about halls. This is Half is Interesting, the show about things that are just interesting enough to fill about four to five minutes of watch time plus ad. And today, that somewhat interesting thing is, you guessed it, typos. I mean, typos. Specifically, the most printed typo in human history. Now, there have been plenty of really bad typos throughout history. For example, a missing character in the computer code that ran the guidance system on NASA's 1962 interplanetary probe, Mariner 1, caused the vessel to explode less than five minutes after takeoff. Even before that, in 1631, the Baker Book House in London accidentally left one consequential word out of the Ten Commandments when they were printing Bibles, leading to the good book telling its readers, Thou shalt commit adultery. I'm pretty sure that was not what Jesus meant when he said to love thy neighbor, but the most printed typo of all is found on the Australian $50 note, which was printed, typo included, 46 million times before anybody realized the error. This is that misspelled $50 note, which was unveiled in February of 2018. On one side is David Unipon, who was Australia's first published Indigenous author, and on the other side is Edith Cohen, the first Australian woman to serve as a member of Parliament. The bill has a number of security features, including a transparent strip in the middle, holographic swans, and microprints, where text is printed in a really tiny font. One such microprint is here, on the Edith Cohen side, in between Cohen's portrait and the image of the King Edward Memorial Hospital, a women's and maternity hospital that Cohen helped start. It's an excerpt from the first speech that Edith Cohen gave to the Western Australian Parliament, and it reads, I stand here today in the unique position of being the first woman in Australian Parliament. It is a great responsibility to be the only, wait, rewind time. Is it a great responsibility? Shouldn't there be an I before that T? The answer is yes. And that's exactly the question that a certain anonymous Australian had in December of 2018, two months after they had been rolled out into circulation. This eagle-eyed Aussie sent an email to the Royal Bank of Australia, or RBA, saying basically, Good day, mate. I noticed that you used defo spelled responsibility wrong. Is that some sort of security feature, or what? To which the RBA replied, Crikey. But it was too late. The notes were already in circulation, and so the RBA decided to be very, very quiet about it and actually managed to keep the typo under wraps for another five months until May of 2019 when an anonymous caller dialed into an Australian radio show and spilled the beans. Sorry, spilled the beans. So, how did this happen? Well, the RBA had originally provided the correct spelling to its printer, Note Printing Australia, or NPA, in December of 2016, but the graphic software that the printer used didn't have a copy and paste option, which meant the full quote had to be retyped by hand. Now, copy and paste is known to create its own problems sometimes, but because the software also didn't have a spell check function, when the typo was made, there wasn't one of those trusty red lines underneath it to alert anyone to the error. But let's not just blame that one typist, because the $50 note went through an internal trial phase, inspections by the printers, the banknotes project department, banknote quality department, plus a review phase overseen by two separate designers, and not a single person noticed the error, which makes me feel a lot better about the time when I spelled the name of my haul-related YouTube channel wrong when signing up and then just had to run with it. But the question remains, with so many people reviewing the note, why didn't anyone notice the typo? Well, according to a leaked internal report from the NPA, it's probably because of something called isolated word recognition. Basically, in order to speed up reading, our brains often read words without reading each individual letter, which is why, for example, even though it looks like it was written by the Chick-fil-A cows, you can probably read this sentence pretty easily. In the end, the Royal Bank of Australia decided not to take the notes out of circulation. The misspelled banknotes are still 100% legal tender and can be used to buy all kinds of Australian things like boomerangs, magnet shoes, shrimp on the barbie, or maybe a dictionary, which you can send to the NPA to make sure they don't ever again shirk their spell checking responsibility. I mean, responsibility. Of course, what the $50 redo note can also buy you is months and months of learning with Brilliant. Brilliant can even then help you earn those dollar redos back by helping you learn the fundamentals of certain employable skills. 
For example, I hear computers are quite the thing now, and Brilliant has four great courses covering sets of skills that you need to know to start learning programming. What I love about Brilliant is the way they have of making super complex topics easy to understand, even for beginners. They make scary subjects understandable, and you can try Brilliant for free by signing up at brilliant.org slash HAI. To access their full catalog of classes, though, you can sign up for their premium subscription for 20% off by being one of the first 200 to sign up at brilliant.org slash HAI.